Harvard made it to the NCAA tournament last year. Coached by Tommy Amaker. Ah, a very a venerable. You know, you're not a big fan of Tommy Amaker either. Of University course I am. Graduate, huh? I am a fan. I think he's great. One of the great point guards ever to play for Mike Krzyzewski. Yeah, it was indeed. But this is all about Canada now and Croatia and how Canada would like to get to that semifinal and really uh, just kind of take another step towards, you know, making Canada basketball recognized as being one of the dominant, or one of the one of the top programs. Of course, the senior team will play at the Food Americas Championship this year. Mexico City. You know, two years ago, Jeff, that uh, Canadian team at uh, Tyler Ennis, who went uh, in the NBA first round, Trey Lyles, obviously, he was a year young, he went, but also Wiggins was supposed to play in that tournament. And that would have been a real matchup. Andrew, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, excuse me, yeah, yeah. Wiggins would have been in that tournament team, but uh, pulled out the last minute. He had an injury, I'm not sure. But Roy Rana, the head coach of the Canadian team, has had some players over the last four or five years on this Canadian national under-19 team. And, Another country that is going great guns with development, but I understand that the Institute has had problems and not uh, Not together anymore in Canada. I don't know about that. Is that what we heard last year? Yeah, we knew there were some changes, but yeah. Anthony Nazor, the Croatia coach A couple of years ago, Canada finished sixth at the FIBA Under-19 uh, World Championship, and Croatia eighth. And those teams played, and Croatia won uh, early on in that tournament, the second day, 79-66. Dario Saric played on that uh, Croatia yeah, Saric team. was on that team. Mavrilin, another player that's missing from this team for Croatia. So they've got some players. Mario Hazonia is obviously eligible for this team as well, though. The fifth pick in the NBA draft. Actually, I don't think he is eligible. I think he's just too old for this team. He's eligible to, eligible to watch it. <laughs> sure. So it's going to be Canada and Croatia. And we are underway here at the Under-19 World Championship, the second quarter final. And Canada going inside early. Get it back. Brooks and goes up and scores with the reverse layup. Yeah, good looking move there for Dylan Brooks. Yeah, straight away in that low post, it's only going to go one place. And the turnover. Up ahead it goes. And the slam dunk there for number 14, Jadon Kohi. Beautiful pass. We got the steal and the, the bounce pass to lead Curry out. Now the spin and goes up and in, so Croatia finally get on the board with Rafovic. I think we're going to see a lot of that today, Jeff. A lot of low post play and uh, probably some very good skilled low post play as well. Brooks and Brooks is fouled before the shot. Yeah, nice quick move. Flavica's got the foul. Ten there, but quick move from Dylan Brooks. Little pump fake, bring the defense forward. And put the ball on the floor hard. Of course, he plays at Oregon. And Canada uh, trying to get to the rack, but uh, forcing it just a little bit there was number 12, Justin Jackson. And Justin Jackson comes with a lot of pedigree, there's no doubt about that. Just trying to get himself involved early on. Average is just under 16 points for the tournament. That's a fair old whack. And Filipovic uh, bringing it up the floor for Ke for Croatia. Now Rapovic gets it back to Filipovic. He sprays it wide, and Slavica misses. Canada rule the boards. Kohi hands it off to Brooks. 
And Brooks's bounce pass was intercepted there by Zubac. And Slavica misses with the layup. Brooks to get it back. Ball pitches pass intercepted by Kohi. Too easy, too easy. Jackson for three. Good. Well, they had his feet set. No doubt about it. So Canada off to a bright start here in the uh, second quarter final. But entry pass down low and the dunk from Zubac. Yeah, nice looking pass, but you know, low post defense, Jeff, you cannot give up anything to it. You can't gamble in that position. And the foul, Slavica. Spectacular finish from uh, Dylan Brooks, though, to finish that move. First time I've seen Brooks play, and all, the, all eyes are on Justin Jackson. Brooks definitely brings something to the party that's a little different. So Brooks is going to inbound it, and the interception by Croatia, and Rapovic takes it back out. And Canada putting the pressure on Eggy. Comes out now Filipovic. Goes straight at Johnson and uses the left hand. Jackson uh, tried to get it to Kohi. Goes out of bounds and it's going to stay with Croatia. Just slipped out of Jackson's hands, didn't it? He was off, off to the races with the rebound. You get a reset here, Jeff, to 14. Yeah, it goes back to 14. No control from uh, Jackson, was it? Eggy guarding down low on the baseline and the pass, uh, not a good idea. And then uh, Filipovic uh, reaches in and fouls Kohi, who was off to the races. Yeah, he's quick. I think it's one of the elements about this tournament. A lot of quick players, a lot of quick guards on the floor. And we're going to see the United States play next against Italy. There's uh, supreme quickness on that team. You know, you mentioned uh, Dylan Brooks looking like he's a uh, pretty cool customer out there. I mean, he's he's already you know played at Oregon, averaging 11 and a half points per game last year, five rebounds. Yeah, he's just just a great competitor. Well, Kohi goes in and tries to get some contact and a foul, but nothing called. He definitely got the contact, that's for sure. And nice cut to the basket that time by number eight. for Croatia, uh, Luka Bozic. Yeah, Koe got the foul and, you know, you see the frustration in his eyes, really, because down one end he gets contact, nothing called. Gets beat to the position by Bozic. Just ball watching slightly. And the first free throw is good. And Croatia only down seven to five here. Points per game, six rebounds per game here in this uh, tournament so far. And he makes both. Simple the game seems to be played at Croatia's pace right now. And the Brooks pulls up at the line. And Eggy keeps it alive on the glass, but saves it inbounds to. Number seven, Batsum. Roko Batsum has come into the game. Filipovic, and here's Batsum. And he was short. He went down trying to get the foul called. And long one for Canada, and it's number 11, Corey Johnson. Beautiful look from Koei from one side of the floor to the other. How he saw him out of the corner, I'll never know, but he's on the money. And inside it goes, and the foul as well. So Zubac, watch this. Priceless, wasn't it? Priceless, beautiful move. Filipovic had a nice pass. Well, Eggy went over. Yeah. This was the three the previous time down the floor from Johnson. So 
So Matt Newfield is going to come in for Canada and Provo as well, Neville Provo. And Eggy comes out. He left his man to cut off the, help cut off the penetration, and I'm guessing the coach is saying, don't leave your man. You, you've got no choice. It's a curl cut, isn't it? Curl cut over the low post. Great rebound here from Croatia to bring it out and chance to tie the game here. Yes, Croatia. Could be a four-point trip down the floor if they score here. Rapovic on the baseline. It's good. And now it's all tied, as you said, midway through the first quarter. He's got four points to Rapovic. Brooks gets inside, uses the athleticism, but tries to get some joy there and a reach and a foul called on Canada. Just asking the referee about why his move to the hoop wasn't called a foul, but I think he lost control of the ball and maybe didn't quite have full control over it. And the referees, we've the seen them, they've played, they've let him play so far in these yeah. two games. Just because you drive to the basket and, you, and there's contact doesn't mean you're going to get the foul, is no, it? No, no, no. So that's back-to-back that's -back layups for Canada. Drives to the hoop where nothing's been called. Filipovic. Provo guarding him. Now the switch, and Provo was uh, holding on there. Got away with it. Had a handful of jersey, but it doesn't matter. Number eight for Croatia, Luka Bozic, drills the three. Standing work, wouldn't it? And, and a good shot from Brooks. I wonder whether uh, Roy Rana might go down the bench. Just give him a break. And he's thinking about it. But right now, Croatia in the ascendancy. Rapovic, oh, beautiful pass, but failing to convert. And then Canada get it back. Now Provo on the break. Holds up, gives it back to Jackson. He gets it over to Johnson, and Johnson is not going to miss that shot. That is a beautiful stroke. Same place that uh, Johnson in the last three. And, uh, there's a sub coming in for Kigab coming into the game. I'm sure that uh, Brooks will be coming out. So Abu Kigab at the scores table, getting ready to check in. Got a tie game. Filipovic drives in, and Brooks couldn't Beautiful. quite get there. Oh, my word. Wasn't it just so, so tough? Got the ball out of his hands quickly. This is where Brooks is getting a lot of control. Well, Brooks goes down, follows up the shot, and taps it in. I'm not sure Roy Rano will want to keep Brooks in the game while he's got this one-on-one -on -one mentality. Just give him a slight break for a breather. Well, I think he raised his hand almost as if to say it's time to come out. <laughs> yeah. oh, inside. Back outside again. And another three. This time no good. Oh. Uh, nobody picks the ball up for Canada. You've got to go and get it. Don't let somebody else get it. Rapovic for three. Good. No, no, that's costly. It was indeed. And you know what, Jeff? One thing you can guarantee is these Croatians can shoot the ball. Provo now over to Jackson. And a uh, beautiful pass from, uh, but wasn't uh, caught. Newfeld's pass. So Canada struggling right now, and Croatia looking pretty good. And Provo reaches in and commits the foul on Filipov Filipovic. Yeah, I think Provo is just, just. Uh, Pushed the referees a little too far on that one. There was a couple of times before where he's reaching in there, just uh, trying to neutralize the, the strength of the offense. Brooks does sit down here. And on the other end, if each does, Zubac takes a sub too. I'm not sure whether he's injured or is he's he? He's got a ripped shirt. You have to see his shirt's ripped on the, the back of it. Can't think that was during this game, surely. A piece hanging off the back of his shirt. Filipovic uh, misses the first. So Canada, you would have thought, had come in here and been big favorites in this game, but they've uh, kind of lost their way a little bit here in the first quarter. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm just, two teams just sparring each other out. I think, yeah. Filling each other out. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's uh, nothing's going to happen just yet. Provo drives in and shuts me up. Beautiful cut. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Composure on the pick and roll. I'm not sure the defense has played that well, but you know, Provo took full advantage. Another drive and great step in there from Newfeld. And he gets it to Jackson. Oh, foul called on number eight for Croatia, Luka Bozic. That was a beautiful move from uh, Jackson there. In and out move, crossover. Kobe comes back in the pro with it now. And, uh, Johnson sits down, Jeff. It is two threes, take a break. Comes out with Canada down by two points. Now Provo, he's going to show us the left-handed stroke, and he does it. Wow. Where did that come from? Well, four straight Shoot points on him. Yeah. Well, Neufeld is out on Filipovic. Filipovic decides to go inside and good follow there by number 14, Ivan Karicic. Yeah, they got to get bodies on the boards, Canada. They can't give up offensive rebounds back to back. Provo now gets to the line and Neufeld sets the pick. And for his trouble, Karicic. Uh, not only picks up the foul, but takes a shot to the face. So two fouls now on him. Well, he just kind of ran into his shoulder, didn't he? Tough way to pick up a foul, isn't it? That's for sure. Boiser comes in for Provo. Lander makes it, so that gets it back to 21-20. The referee's telling the can bench to, to sit down. The players are kind of up. You know, when you're a coach, there's always elements of a game where you get fed up with referees, and that would be one of them right there, you know. Yeah. It's, it's so pedantic. It's well, it so was evidence yeah. in the coach's face. Yeah. So Zubac comes back in for Karacic, and Karacic He's taking a shot to the face, and now he's taking a shot from the coach who's taking him to task over something. Coach is trying to get a reaction out of him. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, boy, he barely did just get over. So number four has come in now, Borna Capusta. Final minute of the first quarter. Oh, nice spot in the corner, and Arapovic misses. Now Kohi in Canada with a chance to go back in front. Might they hold it for the last shot? So Dylan Brooks back in. He wants to clear out. And he couldn't quite get the follow. Uh, back to the final eight seconds. And Croatia. And they are there for the offensive rebound of putback. That's happened two or three times. So Croatia take a 23-21 lead at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, Croatia's got some length, that's for sure. And uh, Ivica Zubac there with that putback, double putback. Enough to uh, make Roy Rana think they've got to get some boards, get some strength on those rebounds. 23-21, Croatia by two at the end of the first. Look at those numbers there, Jeff. 41% for Canada inside. But three of four from the three-point line and uh, showing some strength, that's for sure. Croatia, as you'd expect, seven of 13, 50% plus 
inside with such the bulk, the big long lengths they've got to their players at four and five position. Yep, out rebounding him. Look at the offensive rebounds for Croatia. So that's an you match issue. That, if you match that up with the four defensive for Canada, that means out of the 11 rebounds under the Canadian bucket, Croatia picking seven of them, and the Canadians on the defensive end only four of them. Turner was just about level. And one thing we talked about, Jeff, before the game started, was that this is going to be a high-scoring game because these two teams will go up and down the floor. Croatia just run and gun, and they play a quick style of basketball, and the Canadians do as well. Antina Zor just uh, speaking to three of the players there, Matsunic, Arapovic, and Kapusta. Matsunic and Kapusta came off the bench. Arapovic is one of the uh, starters, averaging 11.5 points a game through the tournament so far. Did Canada take that shot too soon there at the end of the first uh, quarter? Dylan Brooks drove in. You know, what would worry me if I was Roy Rana, head coach of Canada, is the fact that Dylan Brooks is waving away the low post because he wants a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you may be telling your teammates, I want one-on-one, -on -one, but you're also telling your defense that you're playing against, you're going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Therefore, they have a chance to adjust and set themselves. So in answer to your question, it, it probably was too soon, it, and, and it was telling everybody in the gym what was going to happen, too. Hello, welcome back to the Under-19 World Championship here in Crete. Croatia on top, 23-21 over Canada. It's the quarterfinal, the second quarterfinal of the day. Turkey beating Australia in the first quarterfinal. Rapovic puts it down, and his pass is over the head of Mike, Mike Sunic, and it goes out of bounds. So. Wide open too, so it wasn't a great pass from Rapovic, needed a bit more uh, subtlety to it. But it was a wide open jump shot, he caught it. He's that one on one again, Jeff. Now Brooks, is he gonna go one on one? He's gonna drag it out. It's a lot of slow dribbling, that's for sure. Well, Brooks is gonna put it up, and he's gonna hit the three. Tough shot, dragged Rapovic out a bit. Felt he had him for speed, therefore could uh, create space beyond the three point line. Mike Tunis with five on the shot clock. Kapusta now, three on the shot clock. Are they going to get a shot off? Well, it's not uh, what the coach would draw up. And good rebound that time. And cross court now over to Kohi. Stepped out of bounds. One of the cardinal sins of players these days when they catch the ball close to the sideline, they, 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 they go to make a move and the back foot just uh, goes backwards. Wouldn't have happened in the old days, Jeff. Look at the coach of Croatia, they're talking to his player. If you make a mistake, you better believe you're gonna hear about it when you come off the court. Oh, tough, oh. tough move. Oh, goodness me. Slavica just went baseline. All four players for Croatia were up on the foul line, therefore no help defense. Well, so now he gets involved in the act. Johnson comes out. Jackson over to Brooks, now down to Eggy. Poiser goes right inside, brings it back over to Brooks, and Brooks again launches another three. That's Kapusta. And another three attempt, and it's good there from Buzic. And now Canada have called a timeout. They're trailing 28 to 24. Yeah, I think Roy Ron is going to get mightily upset with the choice of selection of shots I think just uh, a little out of control no defense there's the dunk from Slavica followed up by a three-pointer from Luka Bozic 
Jeff, how good could this team have been with uh, Dragon Bender? Sizic not going down with injury. Lovro Mazelin, I don't know whether you know him, one of the, the off guards for Croatia over the last couple of years of the junior ranks. Solid, solid player. He played in the uh, under 19s two years ago, too. It's, uh, it's another country that's producing player after player. See the scoring there for Croatia. I think the weather this form a little bit early against Canada, and they've uh, come back. And it seems like, you know, Canada, as you say, not not really working for the shots. Well, and the other thing, if you look at the Canadian players, that they're, they're very top heavy in in the wing position. So you've got Jackson, you've got Johnson, you've got uh, Poiser, you've got Brooks, all playing around about the same position on the wing. So where the strength is not at the point guard, they haven't really got a 4-5 that dominates. So they've got to really mix it up with some quick ball. Jackson puts up a three. And the rebound, Posic. Kapusta. Pavica. And comes back to Kapusta. And inside, and a three-point play opportunity here in Croatia. Meanwhile, you know, we talk about their ball movement and how they're working around. They end up getting a great shot. And I think a big difference is you get the ball inside the post. You get the ball in the low post, the defense collapses slightly. Then you can move the defense around, to move the off defense around and make them work a bit harder. And this young man here is uh, Ivica Zubac. is just playing a great game. Seven foot tall, can pass, shoot, rebound. Well, Brooks has come out of the game. Provo's in. And then a foul called on Capusta. Yeah, it just reached as uh, Johnson went to catch the ball. Well, back it goes to Jackson. Nice play, and uh, Jackson's hang time was good, but Canada, again, not able to finish. Slavica inside. And Johnson knocks the ball out of Rapovic's hands. Wonderful pass. Slavica down to Rapovic. Rapovic really didn't come up with a great move, did he? Just a little drop step one way, easily read by the D. This time traveling the call on Capusta. That's tough. And a little fellow like that traveling. <laughs> it's, uh, he hasn't got far to get the ball down on the floor. He shouldn't really be uh, shuffling his feet around. Johnson gets it to uh, Kohi. This fellow's going to come back into the game for Canada. Provo. And Jackson goes in, tries to dunk it. A little bit too far away, I think, from the basket. With the Croatian standing right in front of him as well. And Slavica. And the ball off the hands of Kapusta. Good hustle from Provo. Great play from Provo. That's the kind of play that can turn, turn things around. Yeah, I, and I've seen, what, five minutes of Provo playing. He's hit a nice three, a couple of layups. Uh, seven points now, I think he's got. Proving his worth. Well, the alley is passing. Great block that time from uh, Jackson. Locked the lob. <laughs> Rapovich, however, gets it inside, and his teammate once again, number 13, Zubats. Jeff, that's old school basketball. You're playing against the zone. There's the high low. Middleman comes out. You just dump it down, and Zubats to finish. There's the block on the lob from, uh, from Justin Jackson. Now Jackson's had two moves to the to the hoop, hard and fast, and he's come up short both times. So Kohi out of the game. Neufeld goes in. And Prova over to Eggy. And Eggy, that just didn't look right, did it? No. No. And the travel was called. And there's the 
is the merit of having a four or five that could shoot the ball from that range because the pick and roll drags your defender down into the lane. You've got to be able to hit that jump shot. Entry pass, and yet again, like you said, high low. Old school. Old, old school. school. Yep. It's as simple as that. Reverse the ball once, flash into the high post, and go high low. Old school and school is in session. Yes, indeed. It's summer school. And ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Canada's possession with 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. Now they're going small here. Brooks comes back in. Eggy comes out. So just know felt. You felt the, uh, the lone big man in the game. They need a bit of inspiration here from Dylan Brooks. Be nice to see him get something on a give and go, but it's gonna be Johnson instead. And Canada are really they're attacking the basket, but they're they're just not finishing. No, a little out of control. That's not yeah. in the uh, tempo. Not within their set. Kalishnovich over to Slavica for three. That's off to the right. And good strong rebound from Justin Jackson. And reaching in, number eight, Bozic. So he stops the fast break. Midway through the second quarter here. We saw Johnson. We haven't really seen him come off any screens to have any look since he's had the uh, the two open threes. No, and they were really threes that uh, he didn't create for himself. They were really the defensive rotation. He was left wide open. One was on a fast break as well. But you're right, Jeff. He's hit two. He's got the hot hand. Provo hands it off to Brooks. Gives it back to Provo. Now he gets, there you go. That's Johnson, and that's why I should be coaching, right? <laughs> Get him to come off the screen. The money man, Jeff. Taylor. Pulls it as he sees it. Yep, three for three now for Johnson. 5-29. It does stand a reason. I mean, he's hot. if he's knocking down the open Jays. And this time, the pass inside and a hold was called on Jackson. I'm not sure what the referees saw there, but Jackson... I think the offense was just as much tangled up with him as the, the other way around. He's trying to get some clarification. You can see he doesn't agree with it. His effort level has been great, Justin Jackson. Slavica catches the inbounds. And Rapovich right at the line. Boy, they're big, can shoot it, can't they? And you know what, the only reason they're in the zone because they, they feel they can't play them in the low post with such height from Croatia. The Provo was short. That's a quick shot, not what their doctor ordered. And uh, Ron is going to go down the bench to find a sub for him. Croatia using uh, a lot of time on this possession, passing it around to get Slavica. And look at the tenacity of the boards and great block that time from Jackson now Brooks now Johnson again go 4-4 four, 4-4 four. Four, four, four indeed and it's 37-32 and boy they wouldn't be anywhere close if it wasn't for that player right there terrific terrific shooting display by Johnson single-handedly dragging him back into the game absolutely He's seven of ten he went against Tunisia. Well, that doesn't really count, does it? Because they won the game by 50. But uh, he's hit three three points in most games he's played this tournament, so he is, is a shooter. Tell me what it is, though, in your opinion, uh, about coming down an offense and not not making that first, second, third pass. Because a lot of coaches want you to go down. You know, because what you know, Provo's played well today in spurts, but on the previous possession, he went down and took the quick shot, and you said that's going to get him taken out of the game. Why, yeah. do you, why, do, why does that disrupt the offense? Well, if, you, if you're going to take a quick shot, you better make it. Because what is the thing, Jeff? You know, you got the ball in your hands. I'm going to shoot the ball. All four of my teammates must know that I'm going to shoot the ball. Because if they know that, 
they have their responsibilities to either go in for a rebound or get back on defense. Right. But if you're coming up for a shot and your four teammates don't know you're shooting the ball or they're not set right. and ready, then you've got problems because A, you don't get back, B, you don't get offensive rebounders, and that's so important to get teammates or get the game you know, in your momentum. Is you can't get one and done every time you get an offense. You've got to get offensive rebounds to win games. So I don't know whether that answered your question or yeah, not. Yeah, it did. No, I think it's because it, obviously it doesn't look like it's in the flow. No. And, and then the problem is for Canada right now, fourth or fifth time the players have gone on their own where I think other players in the team have not known what's, uh, there's a one-on-one -on -one going on. But Johnson is uh, getting it done on both ends. Playing good defense down here on Baltic. Neufeld is out on Zubas. And Filipovic is not really looking as he will. And, oh, and Balzic has got the range, doesn't he? Just unreal, unreal. I mean, there's, as well as uh, Kander is shooting in terms of Johnson, you know, Croatia just hitting the numbers all over. And then Kohi's pass to Brooks, uh, miscommunication there. Yeah, I'm not sure where Brooks was going. I'm not sure where he was going. Here's the two-pointer from... Uh, Bozic, it was a tough, tough defense on him, and he still drained the jump, jump shot. Well, Bush is out guarding Capusta. Interesting matchup. And drops down to help. And now Capusta goes around, hands it off, and another opportunity down low for Zubac. Yeah, you cannot give up that dribble penetration that easily. You've got to play tougher defense at the point guard position. Now Brooks has got to make amends here. And a nice oh. play. That's much better from Brooks. There you go. Draws the defense and makes the pass. I think he drew three players, and you know what? Zubac has just been told, don't come and help. Three players went to camp to get that uh, shot from Jackson. Balls it's left open again. That's a mistake. That can't simply cannot happen. Yeah, you've got to step and show on that uh, handoff. You can't play behind that. Jackson drives in and draws the foul. No, it's just like on this end, you can't leave Johnson open. Yeah. If you're Croatia, on this end, Balls is uh, got and 13 that's, points. And that's exactly what Roy Ron or somebody right here, Roy is. Uh, Jeff is explaining. Yeah, you cannot leave a shooter like that. You cannot go under the uh, handoff. Meanwhile, Jackson is at the line. I think Jackson got a little lucky on this uh, foul that was just called. And rims out, so no joy for Jackson. Strap down low, and the danger man, high low, in and out, and great help from Brooks that time. And Neufeld, very Canada fortunate. And the Greek referee steps in and says, get down the court and stop complaining. And the other thing, I don't think you can play defense against a player like Zubat and just stand behind him. You've got to offer more resistance in that low post. Now we saw Brooks uh, draw the, the help. That was going to be Jackson. And Jackson drives in. Tough move, tough move. Exciting player, Justin Jackson, that's for sure. Canada's next uh, level of uh, conveyor belt players coming through. Rapovich, and he was fouled by Kohi. So two fouls on Kohi. So Provo indeed is going to get up off the bench and spell Kohi. And now another foul called on Canada. That's their fourth. So. Croatia will be shooting free throws uh, the next time down. You see counter coach Rana talking. All right. 
That was uh, on Neufeld trying to get around the, the pick. Lunch kind of got wrapped up. I think he's just been told he's got to get closer to uh, 13 Zubats. And Kapusta gets it off and another good look inside from number 13 Zubat. And Provo is fouled. Boy, they're just, uh, Croatia right now are just efficient. I mean, they have got 46 points. They are getting what they want. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about a half a basketball. They, they can't stop them. No, this is a team that put 81 on the state. And they lost by 20, but 81 points against the USA is, is a fair old total because they play some serious defense, the Americans. And now Jackson tries his luck from long range, and it's good. So Canada get their seventh three-pointer. They're 7 of 10. They're still down seven. Boy, good thing they shot the ball well from long range. Yeah, it's the only thing keeping them in the game right now. They'd like to get a stop here and go down and score. That mismatch down low with Provo, but Filipovic is going to put it up and in. So he's been hesitant to, to shoot the jumper. And I don't know why. Yeah, it's just not happening no, for Canada. They can't find a defense to get any stops. That's a problem. Zone man, they've just ripped him apart. The book now gets into motion. And passes back out, and that's unfortunate for Canada. They got a little lucky there that Croatia didn't get a basket at the end. So even on that last possession, things weren't working well for Canada. They trailed 48 to 39. Croatia on top of this quarterfinal. Jeff, look at those numbers on the left, 16 of 24 for Croatia. It just it, it I mean, highlights that, how yeah. dominant they've been inside the paint more than anything. You know, they've made some jump shots short, rebounding 20 to 11. This Canadian team is just getting out and blasted at both ends too. Eight offensive rebounds for Croatia against eight defensive Canadas that are 50-50 under their own bucket. And that's never going to get a job done. Turnovers level, steals blocks, not really a factor. I tell you, some of Croatia. I mean, they've they've been passing it well, but look, their game leaders. Okay, Zubac has the 17 points, Bozic has 13, and Arapovic has nine. So they've got uh, 39 of the team's 48 points. Bozic has hit has hit the jump shots, and there you have it right there. And both Zubac and Bozic have been really active down low. Bozic also stepped out to hit some jumpers. Yeah, Bozic more jump shots, but Zubac, I, I promise you now, the Canadian halftime talk will be about how we do not let Zubac get double that score and get into the 30s. There's no way they're going to be that timid against him and, and play him so, so meekly in the low post. They're going to go really go after him. You've got to get rid of that penetration. Deny the penetration to the lane, then Zubac doesn't become a factor in offensive rebounds or even dump downs. Well, it's 48-39 at halftime. Be sure to stick around for the second half.
Well, 48-39 is the halftime score. Croatia on top of Canada and looking quite comfortable at this stage. And it's all on, the onus rather, is all on Canada uh, to take the challenge to the Croatias. And Mick, really, they've got to sort things out down low and uh, try to try to contain those Croatian big men who have really been doing a job on them. And they've also got to keep the hand in the face of the shooters. Well, welcome back to Greece. If you've been away at halftime, and it's uh, the second quarter final of the FIBA Under-19 World Championship, and it's Croatia leading 48-39 over Canada. Canada looking to uh, start brightly here. And Eggy keeps it alive, gets it back, and goes up strong, but shoots it over the rim. Did everything right, didn't he, except finish the play, and that was probably the easiest part of everything. Yeah, they've got to play as a team this second half. 48 points in the first half, way too many. Mismatch down low here, Zubats. Uh, great it. effort and good effort as well from Zubats. Yeah, Brooks will pick up this foul. I think just didn't quite get to that loose ball quick enough. And then when the diminutive uh, guard for Croatia. Filipovic. Filipovic, yeah. He's got their first year, just, just, just fouled him. Lobazic, uh, who had the 13 points at halftime and the seven rebounds. Uh, he's off to a great start. Now here's Filipovic, but short, and that triggers a fast break. Brooks almost had it picked off. Johnson pulls up from three, and good effort from Brooks to get the rebound. Jackson, say Johnson was really feeling good about that chance on the three. Just was a little bit short. Now Jackson puts up another three. Canada, instead of attacking the basket at that time, settled for jump shots. Yeah, no confidence really, is there? Oh, Just good hand from team. Jackson. And offensive foul called. Wasn't uh, quite sure what the referee was going to call there, but Kohi took the charge. He was moving, I thought, slightly. I don't think the uh, corrections would be too happy That's with gonna that. It's going to be call. on Arapovich. The foul, yep. Yeah. They're still 48-39. And this time Justin Jackson puts up a, a, a very tough, difficult shot. I'm not sure what that was, you know. Talk, talk about Colton, another foul from Brooks. That's, uh, they're just not with it, are they? Not together. Well, three fouls on Brooks. Newfeld will come in for him. Rano talking to Brooks. Yeah, he's definitely got some uh, work to do with his team to get them in a cohesive mindset, that's for sure. Croatia, on the other hand, no problems at all. He's going to go through the, the wheels of their well oiled machine. A good effort that time from Canada. Looks like Johnson may have uh, lost Bozic again, but they didn't see him cut under the basket, so. Uh, Johnson's going to set up over here in the right corner. And they allow Eggy to have it. Now here's Johnson. Now he's going to go inside. And, and Neufeld chases out of bounds, but triggers a fast break for Slavica. Oh, cow! Almost. Where did that come from? He was going for the thunder dunk. And Neufeld puts it up. Jackson, good, strong rebound. And a three point play possibility in Slavica. They should just get let Slavica try it again. Yeah, that was worth that even was, watching him miss yeah, it. Yeah, I can, oh, goodness. Watch this. Here it is. Oh, my goodness me. That's the best almost a dunk I've ever seen. But it's also a potential five-point swing here. So Absolutely, Canada living yeah. dangerously. I don't think you can fault the guy for taking that. Oh, I mean, he was very close to having the, the highlight real play of the Listen, game. All those NV8 scouts that aren't here will be wishing they were here just to see that. That was just, that was something else. Canada just two of five at the free throw line. So, Filipovic out, uh, Kapusta back in. 
Gone to zone again. Can't figure out the man to man. Try and get some stops in the zone. Long shot from Rapovic, no good. And then Canada almost. I tell you, Jeff, at some point, Canada are going to get the hang of this. They're going to get into this uh, groove that they need to get into. But they're just trying to find the right defense to be in to get the stops against this Croatian team. Maybe that missed dunk will spur them into something, something special. Kohi, Pozic moves his feet well. Now Eggy, left open up top. Now he's going to drive in and put it up and in. Now he's got a chance for a three-point play, and that's a good call from the referee. Late call. I'm not sure I agree with this at all, because I think the, the layup was in, he'd gone for the block shot, and all of a sudden the whistle goes. Afterwards, you know, they both landed together. It was a strange one. Well, let's look and see. Maybe. You're going to give me a maybe on that one, are you? Well, well, Zubat comes out. To be fair, the, they have been letting him play, so from that standpoint... Yeah. And again, another free throw uh, left out there. So Canada 2 of 6 at the line. 3 2 zone here for Canada, trying to extend things out to the perimeter. There's your oh, shooter. Bozic, you cannot allow him to stay open, but he's short. And this fell with the rebound. He was well short. Newfeld backs up Arapovich and goes up with the left hand. Chases down the rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds back over to Croatia. Yeah, I like the work from Neufeld, though. Just uh, working hard in the post play. He's undersized, obviously, against the uh, the bigs of Croatia. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He's uh, brought some energy to the team. As indeed. As indeed. Canada now in the zone. Jackson, the top of his 3 2. Level it off slightly to a 2 3, and the ball goes down low. And Slavica for three. Well. He couldn't hit the dunk. He couldn't make the dunk, rather, but he hits the three. You know, Jeff, I just think they've found the right defense for themselves here. They need to stick with it. You know, they'll, things will turn their way. And traveling is the call. Kohi. Tight, tight call. So Neufeld comes out, and Clark goes the into first, the game. First time we've seen Brody Clark. He got in the first half. They'll stay in this 3-2. Kohi will play the point of the coach 3-2. He's only gone that man to man, excuse me. Oh, Kapusa just drives right around. And I'm thinking he went around Poiser. I'm wondering if he's gonna come out. Kohi now. Over to Poiser on the left corner. Long. Now, Jackson gets it back, and a little bit, oh, throws a little out of control, but he gets the call. You, you got to love the, uh, the, the, the urgency with which Jackson attacks the hoop. You know, he knows he's probably too far away to dunk it, but by going as if he's going to dunk it, and then holding a double clutch in which you get contact is... Uh, he does have the hang time. Uh, absolutely, and, th and there's a superstar in the making. You know, he, I just think he needs to firm up his outside game. You look at these Croatian kids, don't have the athleticism, therefore they concentrate on the fundamental shooting ability. And there's an element that I think that Jackson could definitely... Well, he's 0-4 at the line, so that's the downside. He finally takes a deep breath. I mean, he had a good release that time, so I don't know why he's struggling. I think he's a good shooter. He's a decent shooter. But he, is it the strongest part of his game? No, that's... This is the strongest part, the intensity. Absolutely, yeah. Defense, rebounding. And Kapusta thinks about it, goes around. Eggy passes back outside to Rapovic. He passes up to three, gets it closer. And now some of those shots that were falling in the first half for Croatia are not falling. And Kapusta reached in, and Jackson kind of fumbled it. A little bit, again, out of control, perhaps.
I don't think this is a great pass from Provo. You know, I don't think that was the option, but once Jackson gets it, he's got to deal with it. And he, like you said, Jeff, just a little out of control. Oh, good hustle there. I mean, you can't fault him for that. And look at Rana trying to get his team up. Sense of urgency is there for the coach. Yeah, Karacic is back. It's always a good place, and if, you, if your coach is intense, your coach is up for it, then you, you've got more chance of your players getting there as well. Kapusta over to Slavica. Clark out on the perimeter, and offensive foul has been called. I think Arapovic just got his left arm, Jeff, and just held his man, sealed his man in the defensive position. Wrapped it around. It's his third call, too. Third foul. That is a big foul. Certainly the Croatian coach is, a, is uh, not in agreement on the last two calls for his team. Poyser. Short and Rakovic goes up with the big strong hands and brings it down. Now to Slavica and Slavica tried to catch it and make the foul. Now the Croatian coach again is uh, having words with the referee. Was he fouled there? No, you know, Pro was quick and, and got back, held position, a little bump perhaps, but uh, nothing to worry anybody about. The coach is voicing his displeasure to his team because he knows he, he can only go so far with the referees. Anyway, Provo. Clark comes up to set the pick. And Provo looks for an opening. Back outside to Poyser. And Poyser can't quite get it. And then Slavica, just a terrific uh, rebound. I'm going to guess that Johnson comes in the game next. Because Poyser's had his two opportunities to Which hit Johnson's shots. in the game. He just committed the no, foul. Oh, he's got but the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got to get him the ball. Those open spots. And foul called on. I think it's just Provo. Provo just okay. holding on to uh, Zubats as he goes down the lane. They keep switching his pick and roll, and it. And I think you need to find another idea. Gives you a mismatch that's too big to handle down low for them. Now Dylan Brooks has got three fouls, Jeff. He can ill afford to pick up his fourth in this quarter. Absolutely. And right now, also, uh, both teams are in the bonus. Uh, Kapusta, and that ball, wow, looked like a long rebound, but a foul's been called on Croatia. I think this was on uh, Luka Bozic, isn't it? Brooks was involved, Brooks was the one that got fouled, so all eyes were looked at Dylan Brooks as whether he, the referee was going to give him the foul instead, but he'll get the shots down the other end. I think there's a lot of upside to uh, Slavica, isn't there? As you look at Brooks going to the line, and this is just turning into a nightmare at the line. They are now three of nine. Excuse me, yeah, three of nine at the line, Canada. So back to an eight point deficit. Karacic comes out. And Zubats comes back in. So probably not what they want to be seeing. The big fella coming back. Slavica now. Well, the thing with the big teams, when you've got big teams out there, you've got to go out and hustle them. You've got to extend the game, extend the floor, make them rush around a bit. You can't give any look, easy looks into the low post. Oh, Eggy reaches See? around, knocks it away. He's going to go up for the two-handed jam. Oh, good defensive play. Canada needs something. From the defensive end, and Croatia call a timeout. It's a good call from Anti Nazur.
Well, Croatia's, uh, Croatia stayed in front. They've kept their noses in front. Not shooting quite as well as they did in the first half. That's dropped off a little bit. But Zubac has uh, already got 17 points. There's quite a long way to go. He's back in the game. Well, he had 17 and a half, Chip. And, and, and this, remember, I think I said at half time. I said there's no way the Canadians are going to are not here at half time. That Zubac and his 17 points. They're not going to let him have too many more easy shots. That's for sure. And you saw Chris Eggie's defense quite happy to put pressure on the big man and, and stole the ball for the dunk. That's what they need more of right now to get themselves sure. back in this game. Boy, considering the players that Croatia don't have here, they really could have uh, had the team. Oh, goodness me, yeah. Scary, isn't it? Neville Provo, number 10 for Canada's all over the place. He's just hustling his rear end off. Well, That's exactly what they need. Yeah, they've got a good defensive team out there. The team to put pressure on. Kapusa's uh, pass was batted. Not sure who got the hand on it. Provo has it now. Uh, Jackson. Oh, and goodness. Jackson's pass. What happened there? Uh, he's completely misread each other. Chris yeah. Eggie went down low, shuffling down low in the low post. He wanted the pass to the baseline. And Jackson just uh, ended up on the high side with the pass. And an interception. Eggie mm. fouled his man as he went to get, pick up the ball, Bozic. And now Bozic at the line because they're in the bonus. So yeah. that is just uh, self-inflicted misery. And great defense leads to a mistake on offense. And all of a sudden, it's been negated straight away. So back to a seven-point lead for Croatia. They're five of seven at the line. Six of eight, so they're shooting 75%. Kinnipovic back into the game for Bozic. 2.41 remaining in the third. Brooks pulls up at the line. That's good. Tough shot. That's a nice move from Dylan Brooks. Found himself plenty of space. Nice soft touch. Before pressure here. And they do just get it over in time. Kapusta. Got two point guards on the floor, Croatia. They know there's pressure coming their way. Now Kapusta trying to uh, dribble around out there with Provo. Now it's going to be a Rapovic. He's going to have to chuck one up. He does just in time. And misses every. And Chuck. The shot clock violation. Eggie thought, Eggie thought a foul had been called and said something. The referees just stepped in as Dylan Brooks and uh, Kapusta just came head to head. They just shook, shaking hands. Just did a little bit of uh, afters, as yeah, they say. Yeah. Just the intensity. Well, you know, the Canadians aren't going to be happy, are they? They've been down the first half. They've definitely outplayed the first half. Now they know that Coach Rui Ran is breathing down their neck. He wants a, a reaction. Now Brooks looking for a way, finds Eggy, gets it back, and then, oh, he goes up and gets killed, and this time he earns a trip to the line, and that was much better. You know, Brooks is terrific when he puts the ball on the floor, gets to the basket, and but is willing to pass it, and then he gets it back and he draws the foul. Yeah, my only problem with the previous move is that he gets up in the air, then decides, where, yeah. where am I going to pass True. it? And he didn't have it. I think he had one thing in his mind, score, and he realized that was going to cut off. He's up in the air. But, you know, I'll give him credit. He plays hard, and, and that's what they need right now. They just need a lot of uh, grit to get them through this and get them back in the game. It's only a five-point game. That's for sure. But if they keep playing like this, they'll be right back in no time. No, I like the lineup that they've got in terms of what you talk about, the kind of uh, intensity that you need to have defensively out there. And look at that. Eggy gets the second chance, gets it back to Brooks, and puts it up and in. And just like that, it's a three-point game. And now Canada... They would have settled for this position at the start of the second half. Yeah, they don't want to foul now. Their intensity is right up. Defensively, they're right in the right position. They don't want to give away silly fouls and put Croatia on the line. Kapusta pops up. It's inside and makes the layup. I'm not sure about the legality of the footwork to start that move off. Thought maybe there was a walk. little yeah. bit of a travel, yeah. Now Brooks. Gets it to Eggy. 
Well, they called it there, and, but they didn't call it the other end. And there's the frustration. Isn't it? I think yeah. Brooks needed to take that himself. He's got a little man guarding him, back him down to the hoop. You've got to go to work there, big fella. Four pressure, Kapusta, Filipovic, now the trap. And the pass on oh, great hustle from Jackson. Beautiful work from Jackson. Because they had, oh, now it's Brooks for three. And that was short, and Kapusta hustles and gets it back. Brooks reaches in on Filipovic, can't knock it away. So Croatia dodged the three there, three bullets. Slavica. Rapovich, two on the shot clock. Steps back and unable to corral the rebound. So they set it back to 14 seconds. Further on Kapusta. Kapusta drives in, and that's more like it for Croatia. Yeah, good ball play, good pick and roll play there from Croatia. And if you notice, just everybody was loaded on the other side of the floor. Therefore, there's no chance of anybody coming over to help side. Subs coming in for the last 8.83 seconds. Jackson and Eggy are coming out. So, Kigab and Neufeld back in. Bozic also is going to come back into the game, and Zubac is going to come out for a breather here at the end of the quarter. Makes the first. But I do like for Canada, I liked that lineup that they had on the court. And I can't see them keeping Eggy and, jo and uh, Jackson out. No, they're just going to let him sit for the end of this quarter. Yes, yeah, they'll, they'll be back soon. And then back. put him in after the first dead ball, maybe, at the start of the third quarter. That's what I would do. Rapovich, though, uh, the free throws take it back up to seven. Final eight seconds. Third quarter. Brooks puts his head down, puts up a very tough shot, and good shot. And that gets it back to 59-44. That, so, that was an impressive move. Impressive. We're seeing, we're a little bit of fortune, some, maybe, but nice. Well, we're seeing some good things from Canada and Croatia doing just enough to keep their noses ahead. They lead it 59-54 over Canada. So the three-point shot, not really a weapon for Canada in that quarter. It was more of the defense. Yeah, but the free throws were, you know, that's been a problem. They've left a lot of points out there at the free throw line. Yeah, yeah you're five points down. You've missed seven from the free throw line. It uh, doesn't make pretty reading, that's for sure. And they can't afford to miss too many more from the line. They're, opportunities they've got to take. Rebound is still in favor of Croatia, Jeff. Nine offensive, 15 defensive for Canada. So the numbers are a little better. Now 15 Croatia turnovers. So... Some of those shots weren't falling for Croatia in the third quarter, and you have to worry if you can from that standpoint. You cannot, you know, you can't leave those jump shooters open for Croatia. And it's not really been a factor, has it, the second, third period, I don't think. The first half, we saw a lot of uh, open jump shots. Canada not, not really at the, the races defensively. The third period has been a, a little better in terms of can, can Canada's ability to stop the open jake. It looks like they are going to go back to that lineup that they had that was uh, effective. So it is going to be Eggy, Jackson, Provo, Johnson, and Brooks. So I think that's a lineup that he's comfortable with. They're not going to be able to go the whole 10 minutes. 
But they need they need to get they need to get out there and fight. They need to make a statement right now, don't they? First two or three minutes of this period, can they get it back level? Can they even inch inch a little closer? And meanwhile, if you're Croatia, just keep doing what you're doing. Croatia's still going with this uh, one-two point guard option. Both guards in there, Kapusta and Filipovic. Good hands from Brooks. Filipovic maintains possession and puts up a three. And not the first option without question, but good defense overall from the Canadians. Provo probing. Now Johnson for three. And Eggy battles. And Slavica with the rebound. Okay, so that worked in the first half. So Johnson's missed a couple here in the second. And Baldrick's for three. Nope, but Slavica gets in there for the offensive rebound and put back. just sees, sees the opening and drives in. Well, almost forces it. I suppose in right now it's not in the, you know in the first half I don't like that play but in this in this case he's he's trying to beat the defense down yeah. the floor. Yeah, no, that's absolutely. You you might as well be direct right now. And uh, as long as you've got teammates following in to help him out and he's not the only one out there. But yeah, you might as well. I think Brooks needs to be a key key factor in this game offensively. And the more shots you can get him, I think it will help other players come into the game too. Anti Nazur on your left here, Jeff, just wants to know why he's shooting. Well, I thought he was in the shooting motion. Well, I think I, I agree with you, but Nazur says no. He says that it was on the three point line. That's where he's pointing to. Here he is. Not happy with that at all. He's saying it should be a. If number four make a foul. Talks about this free throw shooting has to improve. There's one to make it start. I think overall the uh, officiating has been pretty good, to be honest. The two games that we've watched. Yeah, today. no problems at all. No problems at all. Brooks makes uh, the second. So back to a five point deficit. And that little delay there gives uh, Brooks a chance to, chance to catch his breath. Set, some full court pressure. Set the defense up, too. And they come up with a trap. They've got Kapusta, but he passes out of it to Filipovic. They should go under all pick and rolls here let, and give the jump shot open. Uh, that's a poor foul from Brooks. And, and you know what the referees have... They, they, they could have let that one go. It's his fourth foul. And then he's looking over to the bench. Is he coming out? Yes, he is. You can see the look in his face. I'm not sure Roy Rana couldn't have left him in there. But maybe he wants to leave him for the last five of the game. Yeah, just set him for a minute, maybe, and put him back out there. Or maybe Poiser will knock down a jumper or two. It's a momentum killer, that's for sure, because uh, Brooks is number one option. Well, I think what you miss, and uh, coming over the back. And that's Zubac's fourth foul, I think, as well. Now third, okay. Second team foul for Croatia. What you miss, you see Rapovic come back out there and... Uh, Kapusta's going to come out. Yeah, what you lose with uh, more than anything for me, if you take out Brooks, is uh, his physicality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the intensity. You know, he's the lead. Yeah. He's the leader of this team. But there's no doubt about it. He's the number one uh, player everybody's going to look to. Provo puts up a jumper and stays out. Eggy gets it back to Provo. He's going to try a three. Go! There you go. Yeah. A hustle point right there from Eggy. I think it's double figures now. Oh, nine points, Neville Provo. Done very really well today. Back to two. Croatia. Bozic. Jackson. Guarding uh, Rapovic. Now they've switched. Yeah, they, they can't switch too much. It'll be a mismatch inside. Yeah. Here it is. Yep. Poiser has to keep out the Rapovic. And he is fouled. And there's no need to foul. I don't see how you can foul. Why, why, the guy's going to yeah. turn around and jump shoot. Yeah. Get your hands up. You know, if he makes the shot, it's a tough shot. You're in a mismatch. You cannot foul and bail him out. Absolutely. It's, it's a waste of a foul and, you know, momentum swinger. Oh, he misses the first one, so 
Jeff, going back to Neville Provo, nine points is, is, is tournament high right now. He's having the best game of the tournament, and what a game to play it in, too. He makes the second, so he's now three or four at the line. Now Provo. And Jackson. And Jackson's just a little bit out of control. Where was he going? Yep, needed to come to the middle more than anything. That was on his weaker hands. He wasn't really. And Jackson reaches over and fouls Bozic. Yeah, just losing the composure. And, you know, one substitution. Brooks goes out with those four fouls. you got to get him back in soon, Roy. And Johnson's got the three fouls. Yeah. Rana knows full well that Brooks might be the key for this one. So Rana's going to call a timeout. Rapovich for three, good! Well, what a shot from Rapovich. He's got 15. And Canada, look at this. It wasn't wide open. You know what, Eggy played decent defense too. Yeah. Shows, holds his hand up, follows the shot when he re leaves his feet and just drills it. There's Jackson on him and look at that. It's a six point lead for Croatia. Cro uh, Canada called timeout. Dylan Brooks is the back of that uh, lineup there, so he's obviously not in the, the immediate plans for action for Coach Roy Rana. But I guess what you don't want to happen, Jeff, is for another four points to go up on the board for Croatia in the next couple of offenses, and then you've got no choice but to put your main man back in the game. Seven and a half to play, four fouls. You, it's this knockout time now. He needs a, a good offense here, a good stop from his defense. Give himself, give his team some time before Brooks comes back in. And Brooks is just talking to Rana, just inquiring about when he might come back in the game. And Rana knows that's deep on his mind. Two-two-one press from Croatia on the inbound. It's taking Canada by a bit of surprise here. So Kohi is back in. Now Johnson doesn't wait around. He puts it up and. Coming from behind, Eggy called for the foul. Jeff, and I'm going to give you the, the Brooks reasoning here. Justin Jackson on the halfway line as Chris Eggy is going in for an offensive rebound. Eggy's the only offensive rebound, and you're six points down. There's no way. There is no way. You've got to go caution to the wind. The guards get back on defense. The big men get in there and rebound. Well, that was a huge shot by Rapovich uh, before the last time out. And now he's got it again. And he puts up the hook, no good. Jackson out on the fast break. And what a play by Jackson. How in the world did he score that? I, I think he fumbled the ball, too. A little fortunate to get away with that, but tough, tough move, that's for sure. And 13 points for Jackson. Oh, he could have taken that ball if he just looked at just, it. Just seen it, yeah. Ball just drives in. What a tough shot for him. Hey, now he's looking at the clock. Can he get closer to five minutes? No, he can't. Brooks is on his way back in. It's a good call from Coach Rana. Oh, Kohi gets it to Eggy, and he goes up strong and draws the foul. And that is going to be number four on Arapovich. Uh, Zubats. Oh, Zubats, sorry. Yep. Number four yep. on Zubats. He didn't do much wrong, uh, Jeff. Just got his hands up, and he was quite happy to keep his hands up after the call was made just to show the referee he did nothing uh, extraordinary. So both teams in a little bit of foul trouble. Provo comes out, Brooks back in. And the Harvard student knocks it in. Tommy Amaker style. Makes two of two. <laughs> now they're up to 56 percent. They're nine of 16 at the line. And Karacic comes in for Zubac. 
Karacic up at fourth. Yeah, he'll get about two minutes here, Karacic, before uh, Zubac comes back in again. They won't, they won't want to finish this game without him. Slavica barely got it. And nice pass inside. And Rooks has foul. fouled out. Rooks has just fouled out. Unbelievable. Well, the gamble. I guess it's not a gamble. He had to play it. And Brooks has to leave. That's un... Yeah, that's just a... I don't think he even touched the ball in the 10 seconds he's on the floor. If that. He needs to get over there. The body language has to be right for everybody for Canada. They got to be together. And Croatia, 67 63. Miss a free throw. So they're starting to leave a few free throws out there. Kalacic. Two points today. Back to five. Now Croatia will be shooting free throws whenever they're fouled the rest of the way. So that's a long time to be in the bonus. Kohi fouled by Filipovic. That's number four. That's a good call from the referees. You know, you see a lot of body contact all over the shot, but the guards that put the hand on the hip, it's called fairly consistently. Eggy, Jackson for three. Oh, look at Eggy get up there for the board. And Aratchez has to hit it out of bounds. That's what effort gets you, gets yeah. you, even if you don't get the rebound. I tell you, Jeff, he, he's a, just a, a warrior on the boards, and, and Canada are, should be proud to have a player like that on their uh, on their roster. You know, I think the scene is set for Justin Jackson. Not seen much of him today. Well, they get it inside to Jackson right on cue, and he draws the foul, the fourth on Arapovic. Yeah, there was contact, you know, but there was contact, but it was the Croatians had their hands up, Fairly good defensive position. I don't think Jackson elevated too well. well. The foul game. The foul game now huge. Canada have lost a player. And Jackson, his struggles at the free throw line continue. Look at that. I mean, he's pretty much on his average for the tournament. Makes the second. So full court pressure. He gap. And Johnson now chases back. Filipovic guarded by Kohi. Now Slavica. Now Filipovic drives in and oh what a play by Filipovic. That is as tough as it gets. Not only did he uh, get the layup, but he went the, the more difficult route. And this is just phenomenal. Fairly good defense. Eggy Pratt could have helped out a little bit. So Jackson, the end, wasn't it? Number 12 could have helped out. So three fouls on Kohi. And Provo comes in. Four short. And then the rebound falls right to Croatia. Rapovic now 15 points, eight rebounds, five assists. And Karacic for three, another rebound, Slavica, and Eggy keeps it alive, and Croatia get the ball back. Canada can't seem to get it. See if Croatia can get it the third bite at the cherry. Oh, Bozic dribbling between his legs. Goes up against Jackson, but well short. And he gives it up to Jackson. And a bounce pass to Eggy. And Canada has been a little bit too much of a rush there, but they get it back. Provo. Jackson, and that's going to be a flop called on Bozic. The first flop of the game, so it's a technical free throw. He made it. You're joking. And the basket counts. What a play. Watch this. This is an offensive foul. No, no. I think he stepped on his foot, did he? There's no reason for Bozic to go yeah, down. Yeah, that's exactly what Bozic is saying. He's, he's saying, to coach, he stepped on my foot, and it looked like a flop to the referee. Yeah. And he's called it. There was no reason for him to go down. You know, what? what? They got the wrong man on the line, haven't they, too? 
I don't know whether referees are going yeah, to spot this. Jackson. Jackson should be on the line. They got the wrong guy. Unless this Look. is the technical first. Okay, yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's just possession. Wow. This is this is their undoing today. They're going to look back at their free throw attempts, and they're going to rue. They're going to rue the day at the free throw line. Actually, 70-66 right now. 70-66. So anyway, uh, 4:45 remaining. Provo certainly uh, makes it interesting. Johnson, another attempt from three. And they were falling for him early, but Jackson gets the rebound, left it short. Eggy kept it alive, but it's called for the foul. So it, they're working hard, Jeff. They're working hard, not making the shots right now. They've got to keep going at it. Something will come their way. Jackson should have finished this way. No way, no doubt about it. Yeah. The number of times he's gone into the hoop looking to dunk it, that should have been one that he should have really tried to at least try to flush. Neufeld is going to... Come into the game for Eggy. It's his fourth foul. That's, that's why. Just to give him a quick break. I don't see Canada winning this, Jeff. It's it's, it's, it's it's amazing. You don't want to say a team doesn't have a chance at four and a half to play. There's just not enough gone their way this game. You know, they, they've had plenty of chances, plenty of opportunities. Well, they're 10 of 19 at the free throw line. And that's their biggest problem. The only thing that might happen that was working their favor is, is the two bigs for Croatia foul out. Both on four, I think. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Rapovic misses both. And the ball goes over to Canada. So now Croatia's free throws become a factor. They, they were shooting very well themselves. Now they're, they've missed several in a row in 10 of 17 for several of their past free throws. 59%, and Jackson again comes up well short. Good defense. Terrific bounce pass, and Rakovic goes in for the dunk. Yeah, back door, I think it was Justin Jackson just took his eye, ball watch it. There's the back door play, and you can see there, just got caught out. Provo at the line, and a hold. Neufeldt's going to get two shots. I think it's Filipovic, number five yep. for Croatia. Just hanging on to Neufeldt. He's he fouled out. Or no, he's got fourth. four. Seven points, four assists, four rebounds. This is where it doesn't matter how many free throws you've missed before this, Jeff. You cannot afford to blow them now in crunch time. So 10 of 20 at the free throw line, Canada. Got a very strange rotation on the ball here. Neufeld, if you look at the ball when he comes out of his hand, it's not a true rotation you'd expect. That's the second, just back to a five point game. Still plenty of time. But as you said, the feeling, Croatia, seems just to be, it's not so much comfortable, they just seem to be doing enough. Filipovic drives in. Oh, another follow put back dunk from Rapovic. Yeah, box out again. I hate to think who it was that missed the box out, but you've got to go and get those boards. Jackson. Going to go hard. This time he makes it. Tough move. He knows his man got four fouls. Can't play any defense. They got to work that isolation more. Filipovic dribbles up top. He's guarded by Provo. Coming up on the three-minute mark. Slavica. No need to foul now. Late in the shot clock. Croatia need to get it going. Zubac. Neufeld doesn't need to foul. And Provo with the rebound. Johnson. Back to Provo. For three. And that was short. And Croatia. Dodged the three-point bullet there. That would have got it to two. Oh, 
pass back to Slavica. Give and go. And back to seven. Just a little too easy. Johnson just ball watching slightly. Slavica too quick for him on the back door cut. Jackson gets blocked from Zubas. Now Bozic. And Bozic just controls himself. And just like that, the lead has gone back to nine points. Yeah. Two minutes remaining. Beautiful work. He got one one-on-one -on -one move, one end that missed, and then the other down. Bozic is a, is a move that uh, should have been scored from Jackson. That led to the fast break, and Bozic down the other end with the Euro step and two more for Croatia. Well, you see Brooks has already fouled out. Eggy has four. Jackson and Kohi each with three apiece. But the loss of Brooks early. In fact, you know, when they removed him, it was in the third quarter, wasn't it, when he picked up his fourth? Is that when it was? It was in the... When they, when they took him out of the game the first time, they were making their comeback. Yeah, it was three minutes to go in the third period. Yeah. But Rapovich has uh, proved to be a real handful. He's got 19 points, 10 rebounds. And Bosic is 12. I'll tell you, that's about the quietest 19 points and 10 rebounds you're ever going to see from Bosic. Bosic, yeah. He made some good jump shots the first half. He had 13 at the break, didn't he? Maybe 12. But uh, solid, solid play. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> he, also, he also got the flock call. Yeah. Because, uh, Stand the, on my toe, yeah. flock call. Have you ever tried that? Trying to move with somebody standing your toe? It's difficult, isn't it? So you're going to flop every time, aren't you? <laughs> That's exactly And you're going to get a T every time. Don't do it again. So despite all of the adversity that Croatia had faced with the, the loss of Bender and the injuries, still a tough team. Still a tough team. And despite the sensational dunk attempt that was missed by Slavica, well, Provo, time is very definitely, the clock is the enemy. Johnson, and that was long. And the ball goes out of bounds, and it goes back over. To, let's go to Croatia. Had a good look there, didn't they? Johnson's not made one this second half. Just uh, those four three-pointers the first half is all he's got to offer so far. There's the man of the hour, Rapovic, and fouled by Jackson. Played pretty good defense. I'm not sure where this foul is. I'm sure he's got his hands up the whole time. few minutes is make free throws but he's definitely doing his best to keep Canada in the game isn't he that's for sure and this post, but Zubats is there for the follow and the tap that's a killer right there 11 point game now and now the more press to try to kill it off for, for sure Poiser passes back out into Jackson and Jackson scores and draws the foul on Zubac, so that's number five. Well, that was a break for Canada. Uh, I'll tell you what, that, that's his, exactly where he's best, you know. At, at, on the low block. On the low block, you know, and I don't want to take it away any way from his game because he's got an outside game that's just developing. But he is tough from about, uh, in those types of situations, very, very uh, athletic, gets up high, and he is strong. He 
might see Canada just get into a foul game here. And they're going to get the ball back. Oh, good even, hustle even from better. Canada. Yeah. Gosh, they basically, it looked, they looked dead and buried after that last trip down the floor for uh, Croatia. And here they are, down nine with possession. Well, a three-pointer will make it very interesting, that's for sure. Will they look for Johnson? Will they look for Jackson, perhaps, for three? Might Provo get it back? Poiser might take one. And traveling is the call. Yeah, that's tough. I think Poiser would have been, he had to go up and shoot that. You know, you're trying to thread a pass down low to Jackson. Too many bodies in there. Well, missed opportunity for Canada. Well, we're back where we are after the missed free throw. I think they're going to a foul game here somewhere. Filipovic and Slavica, well, they get it across to Bozic. Provo committed the foul on Bozic. So the, the plan was to, to look for steals up to the halfway line as soon as it crossed the halfway line. Quick foul, therefore, four or five seconds off the clock. They're looking for some misses. They've seen a lot of free throw misses from Arapovic now. Bozic has got the hot hand today. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. Misses the first, so they just refuse to uh, close it out. It's all but closed out, but they're just not putting the final nail in the coffin. Second one is good. And back to the 10-point game. Canadian timeout just to advance the ball, and I, I would say you got about two more shots at this Canada to decide whether they're going to be a, a competitive in this last few seconds or not. And this big offense, this time out here for Roy Ryan is a huge one. You've got to draw something up, give something the players can chew on, something they can, uh, they're can they familiar with from practice time. Get your best players the ball in the most optimal position. Yeah, I mean, you can be a two. Yeah, absolutely. To be a Anything will help. Anything will help. I guess what you can't do is have nothing and then have to foul and look at free throws down the other end, possibly looking at 12-point deficit. You've got to come up with something. Two points or a foul is your objective any time in this situation. Foul puts you on the line for points as well. I would say Jeff in crunch time when I used to coach was you're looking for two points or a foul every time when you've got the ball. Two points or a foul, anything else, you, you, you know, you, 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 you've got to consider you fell in that offense. Kohi's in the game, he's going to inbound it. This will be a three here for some sort of lock, look for Johnson here, I think. Maybe Provo. Kohi's sitting here, Johnson's coming up. Now it's going to be Jackson to launch it. And Slavica chases it down, but into the hands of Provo. Couldn't quite get it, but gives it to Johnson for three. And he missed it. Just as they drew it up on the practice board. Yeah, exactly. Open J for Johnson. That should just about kill this one off, I think. Well, Croatia all smiles. Yeah. They've got the ball. They're getting to the semifinals if they can close this thing out. Neufeld coming in. Just been, they've just really struggled Canada to, to, to convert opportunities. The yeah. 11 and 22 line at the free throw line is just uh, particularly hurtful. They had seven. They had seven threes at halftime, didn't yep. they? And they've got eight now. They're yep. eight of twenty-four. I'm not sure. Provo made the three-pointer in the second half, didn't he? From this near corner in front of the Canadian bench here. So, you're right. Three-point shooting in the second half has uh, has really let them down. It's going to be interesting to watch uh, Croatia as they now go up by 11. Well organized offensively. Good big players. 
Got some perimeter shooters. So Poiser checks in. Gab comes out. Kohee. Looks to go all the way, perhaps, and he does. And Eggy follows. And it's Arapovich with the rebound. Yeah, they've had their opportunities, that's for sure. They had two looks there. Layup from Kohee, a follow from Eggy. Nothing going their way. And Jeff, look at the free throws missed. What are we up to now? for uh, Canada, 11 free throws missed, 12 point game. Add to that yeah. the little uh, miss gimmies here and there. Yeah, the defensive effort was there, certainly the second half. Yeah. And what they got to within two. Well, 48 at the break and uh, 35 Croatia have been kept down to the second half. So defensively, the Canadians have done a good job, but offensively they've uh, just doubled their score from half time, I think. 71 to 38. A great game for Rafovic. He leads with 20 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 assists. Comes just 4 assists off a triple double. Provo puts it up. And another rebound from Slavica, who quite possibly had the play of the game on the missed dunk. And the uh, ball goes out of bounds. So they're going to go back. Who's got it? Canada possession, the final 20.8 seconds. So I suppose looking back on the Canada will regret because they didn't, they couldn't stop Croatia offensively in the first half. Their high-low game. So regret the missed free throws. Yeah, they struggled to find a defense the first half, didn't they? And the second half has always been them then trying to find the momentum to make Croatia miss. And this game will be walked out now. They won't foul here. So Croatia winning it 84 to 71. A great win for them. They are into the semifinals of the FIBA Under-19 World Championship. Terrific performance from Rapovic, uh, from Bonic, Filipovic overall, Zubac. And for Canada, disappointment, but they have fallen 84 to 71. Yeah, and hats off to this Croatian team. All the adversity they've had to put up with over the last two weeks, if you could wish. Injuries, the uh, the abstentions. And here they are in the semi-final. They'll be playing for a medal one way or the other. Just to say they won't make the final as well because uh, their side of the draw will pick them against uh, the... Uh, Turkish team tomorrow night, and that is going to be a matchup, that's for sure. That is going to be some game. Well, here in Greece, one last time, it was 84 71, Croatia beating Canada to reach the semifinals of the FIBA Under 19 World Championship. You look back at the numbers, uh, the one glaring issue, at least from a Canada standpoint, was the free throw shooting in Croatia's uh, free throw shooting just deteriorated uh, in the fourth quarter. But overall, when Canada were trailing for much of the time, you know, the, the made free throws would have made a huge difference. And Croatia's size was uh, clearly a factor, although Canada did a pretty good job on the offensive boards in the second half.